Hey guys, welcome back to another round of War Robots with Stuart Pendus. So dropping in, it looks like we're on Springfield today. So I've got a couple new toys to show you guys. Oh man, look at all the speed here. Oh, there's a fourth Kamiho. <laughs> so we've got, we got four Kamihos, a Pursuer, and then a, a Treb Fury. <laughs> so good times. I'm just trying to shoot this guy, make sure he knows that you're not alone, man. I've got your back. I have your Espalda. So don't even fret. Just making sure I still don't, I still don't know. I mean, he's paying attention to what he's doing. Maybe I should stop shooting him. I just realized that I dropped in with a clan mate. <laughs> so we got, looks like we got my boy over there. I, I always feel kind of bad shooting my clan mates when I drop in against them, but it's also kind of fun because I know I'm in for a, for a good round. <laughs> anyway, he's a great player. So hopefully he's cool with me posting the footage of, of this round. If this one ends up working out, I hoping to get some good pursuer footage, so, but. I mean, you can only you can't really get good footage of anything when you've got uh, three shock train bots there. So there's those two bulgas, and then there's that specter there. I just got annihilated. I probably shouldn't have been so aggressive. I was just trying to push him off of center, hoping that my the other Kamihos on my team were would be able to get over there in time. I don't know if those two Kamihos ended up chasing each other all the way to the farm to get that beacon over there. I sure hope they didn't. That's totally a noob uh, thing. But anyway, so we had. Um, we had um, we had somebody tell me to put scourges on the Inquisitor with the Ember, and I thought that was a great idea because one of the problems with running like I like running it with Tehrans because then you can kind of make use of the range. But I mean, if we're being honest, if you're running an Ember on an Inquisitor, like chances are you're jumping in closer, and it's a lot easier to use the Ember when you're further in because of the travel time that it takes for its you know quote projectiles for the flames to be able to get to where they're going to go. I was just making sure that that butch um, over there wasn't going to shoot at us. I, I was going to jump across if that was the case, but since we're good, I didn't want to use it. You see how far that arc? So stupid. <laughs> Those should only have an arc range of like 50 meters, and it should only be able to bounce off of like two people, but with still with very diminished damage. Like it's just it's just dumb. Anyway, we all know that already. So, but anyway, I, I thought it was a great idea because with the with the scourges, they. Can't, they'll track the target no matter what like you don't have to do anything you just have to be locked on and start shooting and then the ember like that's the only thing you have to pay attention to is where is where you're aiming that and oh my gosh man that specter just <laughs> annihilated me oh man and then we we're taken out by splash <laughs> dang it man it's hard it's hard to get any traction right now it looks like we're doing okay in beacon bar but we gotta finish white wolf off here uh, we're doing okay in beacon bar right now but i'm really worried about the state of the game these guys keep pushing up and that's not good because then we can't push up we're focused on just retaining the ground that we have we're not able to actually push forward and do anything important with our lives so it uh, looks like a plasma camijo here so i've got my jump ready to go but i want him to use his dashes before i bother using this jump otherwise this jump could be a complete waste so let's just see if we can pressure him to do something Okay, looks like, so there's both of his dashes there. And with combined fire from my teammate, okay, yeah, I was gonna say with combined fire from all of us, he should go down pretty quickly. All right, let's, we should be able to clear him out here, especially with those Tempests raining down on him as well. Oh shoot, Dragoons, Dragoons. Oh, <laughs> good thing we were at his maximum range there. That, that was close, man. Those Dragoons are no joke. Um, oh, and, and to, to answer the question, I, I have been getting a lot of requests like down in the comments and stuff or on the live streams that we've been doing. I've been getting a lot of requests for Dragoons and I should be getting them on my press account soon. So I, I'll keep you guys posted when that happens, but I'll be able to do like some different tutorials on that. What I'm hoping to do with that press account, I don't want to use a lot. What I mostly want to do is like all the things that would, it would take me like months to be able to get, I'll have earlier access to. So I can make more relevant videos for you guys and then you know right away, okay, should I start working towards something? Like, should I start doing this? I'm hoping to answer those questions by making videos with that press account. Like, okay, is it worth doing this? Like, is it worth, like, if I'm in lower levels, is it worth getting, like, a single Dragoon? Like, what setups could that work on? Could I use it on a, on a VTS? Could I use it on a Golem? Could I use it on a Leo? And I'll try to make those things work in Champion League and we'll, we'll kind of look at the pros and cons of those. And you guys should be able to tell them, like in your current league, you should be able to learn from my gameplay because I'll have to play with them very carefully. Like you guys will know what you can do with them. Everyone should be able to learn from that. But anyway, so that's my intentions with it. I don't plan on playing with it a lot. 
this is my main account here. Obviously, you can see that on the top left. But um, anyway, yeah. <laughs> so the the Punisher Spectre, uh, things to keep in mind. So I've, I've had a lot of questions from people like, hey, what should I run on my Spectre? And basically, you can't go wrong. I mean, we, medium weapons are, like, they're the most well-rounded thing in the game. And, mo like, a lot of them are, I think, over compensated right now like over overpowered and so pretty much anything you put on a specter is going to work out for you <laughs> um like punishers i absolutely i absolutely love storms have so I'm, I'm gonna be doing a comparison between punishers and storms and then punishers and scourges um just for for your guys benefit because there's a lot of similarities between both of them uh there's pros and cons between all of them but i'm going to i'll be drawing comparisons just to show you guys like that the, the Punishers still hold up kind of to both of those, even though, like, they each have their own... Oh, I was hoping that... Uh, anyway, they, they each have their own uh, kind of quirks and stuff. So, But we'll, we'll talk through those later in, in the future. Uh, something with stealth stuff, and I've told you guys this, this before, and I'm sure you've noticed it, but it, it seems like the way that they have the stealth bots coded is that the stealth ability has server-side confirmation. And what that means is that it's not going to appear to your enemy that, uh, or sorry, it's not going to appear to, I guess, to the game that you've actually cloaked until about a second later because once you hit that ability, the server has to confirm that you hit it before you can actually be cloaked. So the, you know, the red eye might be there and you may have actually already hit the button, but like within like a second of that, if the server hasn't confirmed that, then you can still be hit. So you'll notice that like if you're locked onto somebody, so <laughs> there's a little tip right there, but anyway, yeah. So you notice that if you locked onto somebody, but so what I was gonna say is with that Lancelot right there, um, I knew I knew that that guy had Orkins just from watching him walk across the bridge there. And so I took a step back knowing that that Lancelot had that Ansel shield. So I didn't have to take unnecessary damage. I mean, that's like half the reason that people run those is, I mean, probably a lot of people think they're just running it for their own benefit, like their own protection, but you should be using it for team protection. Oh, let's grab this guy real fast. But anyway, you should be using it for team protection too. So I just took a step back, let his shield take the heat. I mean, his shield would have taken the heat anyways, regardless of if I was in front or not. But a Lancelot is designed basically to, uh, or an Ancelot is designed to basically be <laughs> portable cover for that person as well as the team. So why not both of us use it, right? crap these guys are going over there this is seriously like <laughs> we've been talking about a lot of stuff but can we talk about this red team for a second they have countered like incredibly effectively every single thing that we've done and it looks like it appears to me to be a like a team of complete randoms i've run with a squad of completely random people from different clans before but and maybe that's what's happening here but it seems like these are all just randoms. This is the best team of randoms I've ever played against. <laughs> if you guys notice that every single thing we do, they counter like gaps, like like over there, there's that one, we had that one player over there in a Leo and they took advantage of it. They're like, okay, we can go grab this beacon because they had a hover and then like a Kamiho or something else. And like, I've been trying to counter them too, like taking advantage of gaps and holes and stuff like that. But every, like everything we've done, like they've, they've countered as a team, like they've gone in pairs and done different things like amazing team play from like every single player i'll have to i'm gonna go back and watch this footage and then maybe like what <laughs> we'll probably have to upload and record this just for this team's sake it doesn't look like we're gonna win this but just for this team's sake like these guys deserve some props because <laughs> holy crap so i guess drop a comment I, I, i'm definitely gonna end up posting this so drop a comment and let me know <laughs> let me know what you guys saw like what this team was doing, like with as far as like team play, what could what could you do better as as a solo player to work with your team, that kind of thing. So drop a comment. Let's all learn together here, and I'll I'll, I'll try to pin a comment or something like that if I remember. I'll pin a comment and and I'll uh, remark to that as well. But anyway, great job, red team. Uh, well played round. <laughs> I gave them my all. I felt like, but. <laughs> Well, it wasn't quite enough. So anyway, thank you guys so much for coming and checking out the video. Please drop a comment. Let me know what these guys did amazing. And we'll catch you guys in the next one.